Hi guys, I have a whole bag of empties here, so I'm just gonna go through them real quick. Okay, the first thing I have here, I don't think I ever show this on my channel. Well, I don't think I ever use up a whole one. Anyway, this is the Cetaphil um, cleansing cloth. I use it to remove makeup on my eye and my face. They claim that it's for sensitive skin. Here, sensitive skin, but it burns my eye. It's really good for the face, but it burns my eye, so I don't like that it burns my eye. So there goes that. I finish up a Colgate Total Advanced Mouth Wash, and this is the one liter. I like it. There goes. Finish up the Shea Moisture Body Wash. This I like. I, I have like one more use out of this, so I'm not gonna throw it out. I'm gonna finish it up. This thing is like twelve dollars in CV. It's like eleven ninety nine. So it's expensive. So I only buy it when it's on sale and when I have coupons. This is also another Shea Moisture product. This is the African Black Soap Body Wash. I use this actually as a body wash sometimes and then I use it as a face wash. So, Because it's supposed to like clear your skin and all of that. So if I have a breakout like once a month, I use it. So I like it as a face wash. It's good. Here I have another mouth wash. This is the Crest Pro Health Advance. And I got this on sale of course. Um... I bought it because it says it has fluoride in it, but in the back they have paraben. Why would they put paraben inside of a mouthwash? wash? That thing is going in your bloodstream. Let's see if it's going to focus. I'm trying to avoid stuff with paraben if I can. There is that word. Oh, wait. Should focus now. <laughs> Meta paraben. And there's another one. So there's two paraben in here. There, there's information on the internet saying that it's bad for you. It can give you cancer. And then there's some people saying, no, it's not. They're not sure. So I try to. If I can avoid it, I'll, I'm going to avoid it. So I'm not going to purchase this Pro Health. I'll purchase the regular Crest Mouth Wash. I have a lot of those in my stockpile right now. The regular ones. So here I finish up this Nivea body scrub <laughs> I used to love this as a body scrub like years ago but no I like it I don't like it I like just the regular Shea Moisture Sugar Scrub but I, I have a lot of these well I have maybe two of these left over so I'm going to use them as my hand wash so I use this as my hand wash and I did got this in righty like a year ago maybe a year and a half ago so I use it as my hand soap I don't want to waste it here I finish up this Bath and Body Works Holiday Tradition Vanilla Bean Oil Lotion. Oh my god, a lot of people rave about the scent. I try to like it, but I just don't love it. I like it, but I don't love it, so it was okay. It moisturizing. Great for the winter time. Here I finish up this Colgate Daily Repair Toothpaste. This I like, but I like the regular original Colgate Total more. This is like a new one. The Daily Repair is a new one, so there goes. It's okay. Here I finish up another Aveeno Moisturizing Lotion. This I use as a hand lotion before I go to bed. I always have to moisturize my hand whenever I wash them, so I like this because it's unscented. And I don't think it has any paraben in it. No, but it has other chemical stuff in it. This I use up, this is the Aquaphor Healing Ointment. This I put on my lip before I go to bed at night time, especially in the winter time. So yeah, finish it up. I'm so happy that I finished up a whole tube. Amazing, love it. <laughs> I really like it. Here I finished up a Eucerine Intensive Repair Lotion. And this is very rich, like... It's like oily put it on your skin it's very oily and I really in um, this one doesn't have any paraben in it so I guess I can always purchase this again there's always a sale and coupon so yeah I only use it when I have when my hands are really dry like it's like oil so I like it and I don't like it uh, it's okay and here I finish up let me hurry up because my battery is dying this is the Neutrogena 
wrinkle repair moisturizer i like this with also the other one the tone repair i like both of them because it's very light you just pump it and it apply it's not thick so that's why i keep buying it so i like it here i finish up another lotion this is the kerry original lotion i have this for like maybe two years <laughs> this is really oily it's really greasy like you put it on when your skin is really dry but it have paraben in it so i don't think i'll be using it much does it have it in it yep most lotion nowadays have it they said it's for a preservative but yeah this is okay if you have really dry skin especially between your hands finish up some nail product this is the revlon extra life no chip top coat this was okay it's okay my nails doesn't really chip like first time it would chip like within a day or two but i use a good base coat the revlon base coat this i bought because i heard claim that it's good for peeling nails and all of that my nails still peel i don't think nothing can help these nails i don't know if it really works and there's always a little bit left over in it it's all gloopy now so i have to get rid of it so yeah it's all done those are all my empties they're on the floor <laughs> they just sit in here on the floor i'm gonna put them in the recycle and in the bin so yeah that's all i have for now Bye bye